Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromwich Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. Uh, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. Thank you for your emails, emails of confirmation, emails just sharing your stories and emails of booking readings. My readings are open. I offer a 48 to 72 hour turnaround time and an emergency 12 to 24 hour turnaround time for my readings. Just have a look in the description box below. Now, the energy that I pick up on is timeless. That means that I can be picking up on past, present or future energy. It can be an amalgamation of all three sometimes. Um, if I say he, she, masculine or feminine, male or female, we all hold these energies. So you really have to take what resonates and leave the rest. And just remember, this is not a personal reading. Any information that comes up about health, about le um, the legality of something, um, if you should go to the doctors, so on and so forth, please use, use your discernment, okay? Do not take this advice over the advice of a professional. Now let's get into this. Are you ready? Okay, let me just get my cup of tea. You should get yours as well and let's talk about it. Ooh. Okay, now let's see. What has to come out today? We have on here open connections and releasing constraints. There is definitely the encouragement at the moment. I had a heart to heart. There's an encouragement to be speaking from the heart, but I feel like someone wants to have a heart to heart with you. There's something about someone seeing the golden, the golden shine of yours or the golden. I heard this is the golden era because you've got a lot of green coming out, a lot of green and gold, okay? Someone works very closely with Archangel Raphael, and if they don't, they are being encouraged to, especially if they're comfortable with working with angels, because Archangel Raphael um, also sometimes wears a golden robe, and he is very much to do with the heart space, which is green. Now, you also have on here tenderness, true love and compassion, and then open connections, Someone here, I keep getting this, this keeps coming through. Someone needs to do a cord removal, okay? It's gonna keep coming up until that message gets out to the person that needs it. Someone needs to do a cord removal because someone is having their energy siphoned. And again, it's a lot of gold, okay? A nine coming out. Somebody's actually, someone's energy is being siphoned by an energy vampire, succubus, incubus, whatever, or even someone pretending to be, or an energy pretending to be, um, a member of their team of highest light and resonance. Now you've got on here touching earth, planting something new. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so this is projection. Someone is having the energy of, of um, I heard indecisiveness. And I'm hearing the song by ABBA. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Maybe I'm still free. Take a chance on me. But as I'm singing it, all of here, I feel really breathless and like, like this is intense energy somebody is really pushing their energy they want to get you to change your mind on a door that you may have closed with them or if this is somebody from the past they want to have a heart to heart with you they're trying to connect um esoterically as well so maybe on the ethers they're trying to connect to your actual chakras and someone here they already have and someone literally needs to do a cord removal because this person is they're obsessed. There's something about just being obsessed by your energy. Abundance, yeah, fortune, wealth, and plenty. They realize that when they were around you, they were winning all the time. And for some reason, I'm getting like gambling or like games of chance. And I had this come up in a previous reading not that long ago about um, black cat oil being used. They're trying to recreate the luck that they got and the wealth and the prosperity when you were in their life and they can't get it now. And then with this purple coming out, this is very much, they've tried getting in psychically and they can't. They literally cannot and they will not give up the fact, look, you've got loss and luck. They won't give up the fact that you've gone, you've closed that door, you're no longer in their life. And you've also got here sacred purpose, eternal flame, ancestral legacy, and it's upside down. So this person may have been trying to change their own karma. They may have been trying to pass their ancestral karma over to you. You may be somebody who is a karmic um, enforcer, somebody who uh, part of your life purpose is actually to help um, 
not dish out karma, but it's almost like the universe will place you in certain people's lives or on certain paths at specific times. Um, because the lesson that they learn from you being in their life is the karma that they need at that time, be that negative or positive. You've also got soul radiance. Yeah, these Phoenix rising. So for every person that has done you wrong or every person that has tried to, you know, stab you in the back or has, um, for every job that you've lost, for every time that, you know, let's say you've lost your house or your car or this or that, those things were supposed to happen because those who enacted that had not learned their karmic lesson. And this is now being bestowed on them. And they're learning this through the fact that they do not have the wealth that they thought they did. Something is changing. And it says sacred breath and sound, life force and communication. There is something about the way that you speak. Your, your words hold power. Everyone's words hold power, but yours hit different is what I'm hearing. And dolphins are coming up a lot at the moment. And you've got 10. Again, this is ending of cycles. This is, there's something to do with what you say and how you speak it. I heard some of you connect to the underworld. Some of you connect to um, Atlantis and some of you connect to the actual ocean and the animals in the ocean. And you've got here loss and lack again with fear and victimization. There is a strength in your voice. There is a strength of your valor, I heard. There's a strength of your valor. Can I get one more? Oh, too many. And it says sacred action, divisive, decisive, decisive focus. And it's upside down. There is this energy of distraction. Somebody is purposely trying to distract you from your purpose, from the actions that you should be taking right now to forward your path. Be that forward your path in passions lead, forward your path on a business venture, forward your path in self-love, forward your path in just clearing out what no longer resonates with you. Do you want me to take these? This one. Portal, and it's in reverse. Infinite mind awakening and consciousness. There's definitely this connection. Someone is trying to put a connection into your heart portal because our energy centers are all portals. You have portals in your hands and your feet, behind your ears, behind your neck. And this is a portal. This is closed. Or they're trying, there's something here about trying to close it trying to close it, trying to get it so that you are not focusing on how you pour love into yourself, how you pour love into being present each day, because there's nothing wrong with looking back in the past or looking to the future as long as you don't stare for too long. And there's somebody here or an energy or a collective of people that wish for you to stare either in the past or the future so you're not looking at what's happening right now. Interesting. Anything else? You always take this one, don't you? And it says here, hostilities, conflict and unrest, but it's upside down. I'm just listening. I heard an alchemist at their finest. An alchemist at their finest. There's a lot of cats coming out here. You have a lot of big cat energy around you. A lot of big cat energy around you. I don't know why that does not want to go there. You're being told, you're, you really are being told to continue whatever it is that you're doing that helps you with your healing path because as this energy is coming towards you you seem to be closing it off because as much as the intent was to close off the portal of your heart you've shut down or you're being encouraged to shut down some sort of connection that you have to your past a person a place a memory an experience and to do so with compassion not with hostility not with conflict not with unrest OK, to bring in closure, because once that closure is done, this person, this place, this memory, this collective of people can no longer access your energy. And that big cat energy makes sense. And look what's underneath once again. That big cat energy makes sense as we have just gone through Lions, um, Lionsgate and you do have here Isis. There is truths that Isis wish to bring you. OK, she is the goddess of knowledge. She you have to remember that Isis is almost a goddess of many facets. She can fly and soar above with all of the sun gods, but she can also go below with all of the ones from the underworld. She brought Osiris back by putting his pieces, once he was chopped into many pieces, and breathed life back into him. She is the same, Isis is the same goddess who was given powers by tricking the sun god into giving her powers. There is a lot of knowledge that she wishes to pass to you, but there seems to be this energy of you need to close this portal. I keep getting the message in each of my readings, someone needs to cleanse, 
their aura. They need to cleanse the house or the home that they live in because the Deva energy of your home is connected to Mother Gaia. OK, there is something here about calling on the Deva energy of your your home, if that resonates with you, of cleansing your home, whether that is getting a spiritual wash or, you know, rubbing alcohol or lemon juice or whatever it is that you use to mop your floors with and wipe your counters with. Because at this moment, while we are still in such a large portal ourselves of Lionsgate, manifesting in for negative or positive comes to be very, very quickly. And there is this push against you or against your energy because you're no longer giving them the abundance, the fortune, the wealth and plenty that they were getting before and they really were attached into you. You're being asked to cleanse that out. For someone here, Archangel Michael is asking you to use his sword to cut that off, cut, uh, cut that off now, okay? Sacred breath and sound, life force and communication. Your words hold power, use them, use them daily. OK, the number up there is 10. You're being asked to close down a cycle. You're being asked to um, cut off whatever energy is coming towards you, but not just outside energy, energy of anything residual that you have been holding on to yourself, limiting beliefs, mindsets, patterns, habits, you know, throwing out clothes that you no longer wear becoming a little bit more minimal and it does not mean throwing out everything that you own and just having a box in the middle of the room that you use the table as in the bed no it, but just clearing out what you don't need but i keep hearing old mindsets someone here has mental chatter that they need to wash and clean out and as i say that what's underneath balance and it says stability standing firm standing firm which one interesting interesting i do want to get this one out actually no 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 see i've been told to be decisive that was the message and i'm there being indecisive about which cards i want to take out too many flow and individual individuality allow me divine to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace this is what you're being asked to do you're being asked not to retaliate if somebody is sending negative energy towards you be that through intent or through spell work be that through action through bullying at work or through bitchy words you're being asked to stay in your individual power because over here it says every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school do not dim to fit in but at the same time do not retaliate in the same energy okay for example if someone is sending a negative spell work you can do a return to send it if you wish do not hold malice in the same energy that that was sent to you though do not be like i hope a bitch burns <laughs> excuse my language send it back because it's not your energy or grounds that energy and dolphins are coming out there's a lot of dolphin energy and because of that i actually want to google what this means unfortunately i do not know what every animal totem is but you are being asked to remove something. Dolphin. Spiritual. And it says here, the dolphin spirit animal has many qualities and strong symbolism. It generally represents peace and harmony. There you go. This animal of the seas and oceans is joyful, graceful, compassionate, intelligent, generous and protective. It also symbolizes cooperation and freedom. So you are being asked in whatever it is that you are releasing whether that is external energies coming towards you or internal energies that need to be purged that you are doing so with a compassion and with um a sense of peace and almost like the temperance card okay so if you are sending that back send it back without malice send it back without the intent to hurt or harm just that it's not yours and that you are that's that can go back to the universe or it can go back to the person that it was sent to how interesting how very interesting to shuffle again worth and individuality is coming up so worth says you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve in fact you are love itself and again with individuality every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school if you are comparing yourself to other people's um pace of healing or where they are if you are looking at influencers that say on tiktok or on youtube and going oh my gosh they have a hundred thousand followers i'm only just starting my youtube or i'm only just starting my tiktok i've got a hundred 
How on earth am I going to get to them? Or do I have to act like they do? Do I have to be really big and jazzy? You have to authentically just be yourself. No matter what the venture is, it doesn't have to be that you're an influencer. It could be that you are starting your own business and you've, you're watching the other businesses that are doing so well in the same industry and you're trying to copy them. Stop. You're being told to let go of that. Let go of trying to compare to others and stick to your internal light to what it was that made you want to do it in the first place. Speak your truth, but don't speak a harsh truth that is covered in illusions of negative bias towards yourself, of I will never be worthy, or I'll never be as good as them because they've got this, this and this. Your actual truth of how it is that you wanted to go forward, why it is that you wanted to go forward, what it was that you wanted to share, and how that will light you up and those around you, okay? because we are all worthy, we are all deserved. And the amount of times that I've spoken to friends before and they're like, you know what, if I could manifest in, or, you know, I'd manifest in like a thousand pounds because I think if I try any more than that, that's not really, you know, I don't deserve any more than that. Why not manifest in a million? Why manifest so small? We are deserved of everything and anything. And it says signs here, Instincts are the message from the inner divine. You're being told to look out for messages. Look out for those messages and trust them. Literally trust them. Especially when it comes to any kind of internal struggle that you don't feel is yours. Because that, um, that technique, I do it every morning. A technique that you can do also is when you first wake up, when you're still groggy from sleep, when you haven't really fit your head together properly yet, and you're still half one foot in dream and one foot in, in uh, waking reality, is placing your hands on your heart and just saying, how do I feel? How do I feel? The answer that you get is going to be a divine, connected and truthful answer, whether that is happy, sexy, angry, irritated, you know, uh, emotional, whatever it is that comes up is going to be your truth. And if you have time in the morning before you have to rush off to work, before you have to get the kids ready to walk the dog, whatever that is, you can ask yourself, is this my energy? Is this my energy? Or is this someone else's? Because if it's your energy, you can then ask, why do I feel like this? If it's not your energy, send that stuff back. It's not mine. Thank you for being here. You can go and you send that stuff back. The more you do that, the more in tune you become with yourself, with your voice, with your intuition, with how you follow with your intuition and passions lead and not with fear. Because you've also got karma here and it says there's nothing from the par a past life that can't be addressed in current a current life, okay? So whoever is attaching it to you may have had lifetimes with you before. They may be trying to act out some sort of contract that you removed yourself from, okay? And if you haven't removed yourself from it and you'll know You'll know intu intuitively when I say that, you'll either go, okay, that's still attached and that's what's on my heart. Or no, it's not attached. That's them just trying to put a cord into me. Then you need to ask your guides to come to you. Someone here has Anubis as their Patreon and he is calling and asking you to work with him to remove any scrolls, to remove any contracts across the Akasha. Okay, call to him. He will help you. Why don't I want to put karma out? The thing is, karma is not just negative, it is also positive, and you have to remember that. So you want to be looking out for signs of both positive and negative karma. However, you see that because that is going to be personal for you. You've also got ease on here. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Someone here has been doing this. Someone's been doing their affirmations, and because of that, they're rising like the phoenix. Someone here needs to speak their truth or is speaking their truth. But just remember when you do speak your truth to use compassion, no matter the feelings that you have as you are expressing them. OK. Right, anything else that needs to come out before I go? Let me just take this one here. What else needs to come out? I heard knock on wood. Someone's quite superstitious. And drink more water. If you are getting headaches, if you get headaches a lot, I'm hearing, you're not grounding yourself enough. There's a jealous lover here. This may be who it is that's trying to attach. This is either a jealous lover this is a, or a, a scorned lover. Someone that you may have left because they either they ghosted you or you ghosted them. 
or this is the person that you're being asked to leave behind so that especially so that you can come into this phoenix rising there's something here that needs to be detached or something that needs to be said from the heart okay please read these signs i'm going to keep this one really short i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated i'd love you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content if you are a returning subscriber as always love you guys thank you so much all of my information is in the description box down below if anyone feels uh moved to leave a donation you don't have to and anyone that wants to have a reading all of my info is down there but that is all i hope you have a really wonderful morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are in the world i'll see you later bye